I went from playing Fortnite all day long, being completely addicted to it, to making more than a million dollars in profit with my online business. How did I do it and how did Fortnite actually help me reach this success? Let me explain. As a teenager, I was a complete computer addict. I played video games all day long, such as CSGO, Warzone, Fortnite. Mm, I can feel the dopamine rush to my brain when I talk about it. This made it super addicting to sit behind my PC all day long. While that was a lot of fun, my results in school were absolute dog shit and my mom was working really hard to barely make ends meet. But by playing video games all day long, I could escape the reality of sucking at everything else in life. I was broke, I got kicked out of two schools, I remember I was literally playing Fortnite in class. And for the short time I would last in these schools, my results were just dog shit. So escaping reality by playing Fortnite was nice, but it also helped me learn some important things that would set up my future career as a successful entrepreneur. I learned to sit behind my computer all day long. So I would not only just play video games, I would also watch endless hours of YouTube videos. In real life, I had zero positive role models. I literally thought when I got older, Older, I would either end up in jail or in the streets. But because my Fortnite addiction was a gateway to a YouTube addiction, I finally found some positive role models on YouTube. Talking about the OGs in the YouTube business space, such as Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, Graham Stephan, all those guys. They actually showed me that if you are a rebellious kid who's also a broke loser, there is a chance of becoming rich. I started watching countless videos of these guys and they all had a few things in common. They were all rebellious characters, terrible at school and they started off completely broke just like me. At that moment I literally had an epiphany and I knew I was not gonna be a broke loser for the rest of my life. No, I decided I was gonna be a multi-millionaire and become the best version of myself. So with all this new motivation and energy I searched on YouTube of course, how to become rich fast. And that's when I found dropshipping. I think it was Ty Lopez who first introduced me to it, but it sounded like the best business model ever. I mean, the only thing you have to do is create a website on Shopify, find some products to sell and advertise on Facebook, and then only when your customer buys from you, you ship and pay for that product. Easy, right? Mm, I wish it was. My girlfriend would also be my partner in this dropshipping venture, and we decided to start a wedding shop as our first store. In my brain, this seemed like a logical decision. The first product we sold was this mood ring for $20. Absolute garbage, but I remember after spending only $2 on Facebook, we already got our first sale. We thought we were gonna be rich fast as I intended. But then for three months after that, we didn't get a single sale. This was a really tough time because our money started running out. But then finally one day, I found a YouTube channel, Verum Ecom, and a strategy he explained in his free videos were actually the thing that got us our first winning product which was this dog harness this is my dog oliver by the way who recently died of diabetes true story but we were finally able to make some money with that winning product today this strategy is completely outdated of course but over the past four years i've been able to develop my own dropshipping strategy it's completely new and the dropshipping gurus who use this literally hide it from you i created a full course on this strategy which is completely free you can just click the link below sign up and that's it but after we made our first 10k in profit with this dog harness we decided to move out from our parents house and get a place of our own that was a massive change from before before that i was living in a small apartment with my mom and my sister and now i was living in a nice apartment with my girlfriend slash business partner the problem with this move we didn't have the discipline yet to work on our business all day long so what did we do instead of work? We played Fortnite all day long. We still tested some products here and there and we did manage to grow our business to 60K in profit for that year, but our routine was insanely unproductive. I remember we woke up, played Fortnite for two hours, went to the gym, created one product to test on our stores, played Fortnite again, and then went to bed. This was literally the daily routine, not really what you would call monk mode. But after our first year of living alone together, we finally started to come to our senses. Our business was going super slow and we barely put in any work, so we decided to cut all distractions. No more Fortnite, no more parties, no more drinking, no more going out, nothing. From now on, strict monk mode. We even got an office which was massively helpful for us to separate work and play and we started grinding our asses off on our dropshipping business. I remember after being in that office for three months, we hit a 100k in profit in one single month. 
And that was absolutely massive for us, of course. We went from having 60K in our bank account to almost having $200,000 in the bank in only three months. And from then we started making such money consistently. I even bought a Tesla Model 3, as you can see behind me, which was literally my dream car when I was 18. And eventually after two more years of making good money and being extremely disciplined, we decided to move to sunny Portugal where I now live in a beautiful villa with my girlfriend. Through playing Fortnite all day long as a teenager, I learned how to not accept my shitty reality because I had an escape from it. This is what made me uncomfortable with normal life. I could never just have a normal job, make two or three K a month and then die. And then being behind my PC all day long made me super comfortable with doing the same thing now. The only difference is that now I'm not playing Fortnite but I'm building a multi-million dollar business. So in the end being a video game addict as a teen might set you up for a very successful life in the future. Just know when to put the controller or keyboard and mouse down and start building on your business as soon as you possibly can. For dropshipping if you use my strategy for example you can start with this if you have around two thousand dollars in the bank. You can use my free course as a guide and avoid all expensive mistakes again it's linked below but if you want my private help where I literally hold your hand during the entire process of building a multi-million dollar dropshipping business then you can apply below I've opened up a few mentorship spots again and I'm only letting in a very limited amount of people so if you are actually serious about changing your life with dropshipping then make sure to check out the link below and apply for the mentorship also if you want to play Fortnite with me my gamer tag is Samuel Ecom